You never know when you might need to find a qualitative study on a particular topic. Maybe you're getting ready to do some research of your own and you want to know what else has already been done. Or maybe you want to gain more understanding into an issue from a patient or provider's perspective. PubMed has a ton of articles but it can be a bit tricky to find research done using qualitative methods. One of the best places to start in PubMed is to use specific subject headings called medical subject headings or MESH. These are terms assigned to all the stuff in PubMed based on the topics represented in the article. Some of the best MESH terms that encompass qualitative concepts include qualitative research, duh, focus groups, interviews as topics, observational study as topics, and you can even get more specific into subject headings that talk about attitude. You can also limit your search to specific publication types. For qualitative information, these include interviews, personal narratives, diaries, and observational study. Here's a big caveat. The use of these terms in PubMed is really inconsistent. Even though the term qualitative research has been a mesh heading for more than a decade, there's a lot of qualitative research that doesn't get assigned the subject heading. That means when you search just using this subject heading, you're going to miss stuff. To search using mesh within PubMed, click on the mesh database link. Now enter the topic you want to focus on. I'm going to look at fibromyalgia and then search. Sometimes PubMed won't have your exact topic, but it will almost always list something similar, like doing a search for heart attack will bring up myocardial infarction. This is what a mesh entry looks like. Cool, right? Okay, maybe that's just me. It gives a description of what this term encompasses, lists more specific aspects that you can search on. If you truly want to geek out, you can look at where the term fits in what's called the mesh hierarchy. It's time to start building our search. This is sort of like adding things to a shopping cart, but we're going to look for a couple more terms before we buy. To add the first term, which is the topic we're focused on, all you do is add to search builder. If I wanted to focus on something more specific, I could click on any of these, but I'm going to keep it general for now. All right, so we have one term in here, like our shopping cart. We'll need to add more to this because we're not yet searching on the qualitative piece. So I'm gonna search up here for qualitative. And here is the subject heading for qualitative research. I'm going to click on it. Again, there's a description. This one doesn't have any limiters. It does have a little mesh heading within the hierarchy. And I'm just going to add it to the search builder. Now I've got two terms in here, fibromyalgia and qualitative research. You can continue to add more terms such as interviews as topic or focus groups, but I'm just going to keep it broad for now. When you're ready to search, just click on Search PubMed. Okay, 28 results only. Remember what I said about mesh being really inconsistent with the whole qualitative research term? Do I really believe that there's only 28 qualitative studies done on this topic? Not a chance. Let's try a different strategy. Okay, let's get rid of all of this up here at the top. I'm just gonna type in fibromyalgia and I'm gonna search on that. All right, there's 8,000 articles that mention fibromyalgia in some way. Our next strategy is to limit by publication type. This is found right over here on the left hand side. There's a lot of different article types. You can customize to look at the ones you want. We already have some of the ones that I'm looking for right here. So I'm going to click on interview. There's only seven. That's not very many. I'm going to look for a personal narrative and let's do observational study. And I'm just adding these one at a time. 16 results. Honestly, this search wasn't much better. We went from 28 to 16, so we've actually found less stuff. So in this case, using the article type didn't really help, though some of these terms may be really specific and exactly what you're looking for. I like to have more choices. One way to avoid missing potentially relevant qualitative articles is to search just using keywords. This isn't the most efficient way to find stuff, but it can bring up articles you might have otherwise missed. Some of the best keywords to use are listed here. The asterisk is called a truncation symbol. This tells PubMed that I want it to search for all variations of this word. So in the case of interview, I'm asking it to search for interviews or interviewing. And in ethnography, it could be ethnographic or ethnography. Since my other strategies didn't really work when trying to find qualitative research on the topic of fibromyalgia, I decided to actually just enter in some keywords that are related to qualitative research. So I have my term here, fibromyalgia. 
Then I'm using the word and. That's asking PubMed to look for fibromyalgia and anything that comes afterwards. This can be a little confusing for people new to PubMed, but you'll want to include everything that's a synonym within the parentheses. So I've got a parentheses here, and then I have a long list of words that I think are related to qualitative research. That includes interview or focus group, lived experience, mixed method, grounded theory, or ethnography. The ORs are telling PubMed that I don't care which of these it pulls up, it can pull up any of them as long as one of them appears somewhere. Now let's rerun our search looking at that. All right, that's much better. Now we're up to 398 results. Much better than the less than 20 that we had found before. The final thing to do is look for an article that looks relevant and then see what mesh headings it uses. All right, here's one on dissociative depression and fibromyalgia. To see what mesh terms they use, click on the publication types mesh terms area and then look through it. You'll see they use questionnaires plus fibromyalgia psychology. That's also another good tip is to use the subheading psychology on any of the terms. That tends to pull up more qualitative research. I truly love PubMed, but it's the not the easiest tool to use when looking for qualitative research. Please let me know if you need any help or if you get stuck searching.